Graham, you do camera shots. Yes, this is You can get this on film. You see me turn the lights on and shake David Dean. It was a loop. How's it doing?
It's always meant so much to listen to your ideas, to watch you grow and learn, and become your own person. You made so many special memories for us through the years and given us so many reasons to be proud of you. You're such an important part of our lives. We just want to tell you once again how much we always love you. Congratulations, love mom and dad. Save the paper for next weekend. <laughs> well, we could do that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, no, it's all right. It's only a half graduation. Exam. Yeah, how does it go? The yellow area. Yeah. 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 Half a piece of paper. Half a piece of paper. You might not even show. That's you the might not joke. You might not show. You better. Where is it? Well, the pair of Dr. Denton's pajamas. <laughs> oh, don't put the feet. <laughs> Hey, it's a uh, attaché. Oh, that's oh, for your paper. Now I'm ready. Bring on Wall Street. Oh, oh boy. that's nice, huh? It's got a combination. I hope they gave me the combination. <coughs> I don't think you remember. <laughs> <laughs> You're a college grad. You should figure it out. They sell stocks and bonds. You want me to send them over to you, Jane? What's up? They sell stocks and bonds. There's a number inside. <laughs> of course. Do you need a penny? No. No, not That's not a pocketbook. Uh -huh. Only pennies go with pocketbooks. That's right. And sharp things. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. Can you carry I like that color. Mm. You really need to buy you that show for. Sincere congratulations on your college graduation and best wishes for a future filled with everything. Best wishes, love, grandma, grandma. Thank you very much. We have to give kisses. We have to give kisses. You have to give kisses. <laughs> You don't kiss me. Here, yeah. Yeah. No, he's got a cold. Yeah, he'll be sneezing him off. You want me to hold that? Yeah. You get smacks like that, uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> I mean, she matches his tie. He makes the rabbit paper. As you graduate from college, I am free to think my own thoughts. I choose my own way to be my own person. Congratulations and best wishes. Love, Aunt Jackie, Uncle George, Jeffrey, and Michelle. I read the poem, but it's kind of long. You're a lovely. This is proof that you can oh, come to me. This is a typical thing. So Please so give me that envelope so I can put these in the yeah. envelope. Yeah. Back in the envelope. Yeah. To my brother, Gary DeSalle. The beige one. The beige one. The beige one. The beige one. You can read it out loud. To my brother on his graduation. Did you cheat? Did you cheat? Happy graduation and good luck, love, John. Thanks, guys. You really want to catch Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Jane. She's got the card. I have the card. Did you cheat? Let's collect the card. I am. Cheat and answer. <laughs> I forgot the scotch tape, James. Well, that's okay. That's true. Pretty pretty paper, though. <laughs> yeah, that's really pretty easy. No, I got it in uh, Zaya's <laughs> For a very special young man, if. If. What the if? I know, it says if at the top. I think that's the people that make the cards. No, that's not. Yeah. Yeah, say the poem. Yeah. yeah, I got it. I got it. No, I'm you can I keep the warmth of happy memories while applying the lessons of experience. You can take what each day offers and shape it into something meaningful. <coughs> Look forward to each tomorrow as you step, as a step that brings you closer to your dreams. You can find satisfaction in trying for, as well as in attaining your goals. Then you live your days to the fullest and enjoy the best of life. Your graduation is an important time in your life, may it lead you much happiness for <coughs> you. Best wishes, great. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, I can't even read. <coughs> yeah. yeah, I just know. Think, I, I didn't type that. James, <laughs> just think your vacation is over. Even the vacation is over. <laughs>
My vacation is Monday with you, Gramps. <laughs> is it? Monday? Yeah. Oh. That's all I can be. Ooh. A cross pet. Yeah, that's right. Now I got matching cross pets. You got another one? I got... I think I must have got one from Elaine. Miss Pashada. Oh, it's a, it's a real... <coughs> It's and not uh, as nice as this one, but it, I found it the other the day. Anyway. Thank you very much. I oh, found yeah. it the other day. Actually, Pat Hanley. <coughs> Remember the Hanleys? Um, he found it on his desk when he was working. And your name on That was, I, I think that was a high school graduation present. Yeah. The pen with your name on it from somebody. <coughs> I don't remember who, That's but I, I know you said home. you lost it. Do you it. want me to take it home and save it till you lose the other one? No. <laughs> <laughs> it took him four silver's, years to find that one. One, one silver, silver. One. Oh, okay. Well, that's my thing. Mark Creek. My favorite color. Yeah, pink. Yeah, nice. Mm. You can't wear it when John wears his. The John got one too? <laughs> He's got a pink. Well, you got everybody one? No, David's got blue. <laughs> oh, hey, David What's yeah. the occasion? Grams on day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get, get ready, 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 Get I know, I'll be talking at us all night. Yeah. Especially for you. Congratulations on your birthday. All love and best. Good luck in the future, Uncle Harold and Aunt Ginger. And then I'm not here to say. I'm not here to say. I'm call them. Then. When you get back. You kiss them over the phone. Kiss them you have to kiss them over the phone. <laughs> no, we can call them up now. Yeah. Oh, I can. You think Aunt Ginger's in bed? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's only 11.30. You can stop by and see them during the week. Now, their anniversary is coming up on Tuesday. I know, I'll forget Tuesday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 1980. Congratulations on your success and happiness. Yours and every YouTube. Thank you very much, I'm done. That's a nice simple one. I deserve a kiss. Mm -hmm. At least. <laughs> a loud one. Yeah. A loud smacker. Uh -huh. At least they have a cool one. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Those are nice. That's the, uh, that's the sugar. Too cool, it is. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty place. Look at the pool. Do you sleep well? Are you getting me back in Dodge? <laughs> it's a pitch. Can you hear? No, okay. you, have to, you have to give it to us. We have to turn it in. All right. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be higher at home, yeah. I'm 10 degrees more. Uh, she's taking the key, Phil. I'll take it. Celery is shopping. Morning, Judge. Morning. Uh, some tissue, you yeah, know, Kleenex inside. This? How about that? And that one. <laughs>
Canada, St. Michael's College, parents, family, relatives, and friends of our graduates, members of the class of 1988. Quest Good Days. These are words which have been frequently on my mind in this special Marian year. Please, honored guests, Dr. Rice, faculty, staff, and administrators, parents, families, and my fellow classmates. Standing here today, thinking about tomorrow, and wondering what I'll be doing. Stephen Goyan, Mountain Man.
just need a yeah. wide angle. Oh, not everybody. No. <laughs> Okay. Okay. One. Two. Three. Okay. He really is here. Okay. Now, what do I press to start it? Is it going? Hey, Dad. Hey. All right. Dad, I don't think you know how to use the camera. I know it. Oh.
so funny. Gotcha, Tony. Dave. existentialism and Christian humanism. But my search for an answer was fruitless as I checked course by course and subject area by subject area. We're open to the human mind because these are the works of God who told us to master it and use it in his service. A native of Hungary, Father Yaki entered Benedictine life in 1942. Stone College, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. In accordance with usual custom, you are entitled to all the rights and privileges which pertain to this degree here and elsewhere. In token thereof, we award you this diploma and invest you with the appropriate hood. On Von D. Rowe. <coughs> Mrs. Von D. Rowe. By the authority of the Board of Trustees of St. Anselm College, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. In accordance with usual custom, you are entitled to all the rights and privileges which pertain to this degree here and elsewhere. In token thereof, we award you this diploma and invest you with the appropriate hood. Right, Reverend Abbott, is my, it is my privilege to present Mr. Thomas John Rokaw for the degree of Doctor of Journalism. Enormity of issues facing the nation and an ever more interdependent world. Immense responsibility weighs upon the network ev evening news editor. Some 50 million people each day depend upon television network newscasts for a significant portion of the information they will use to make judgments about many things affecting their lives. What they get to see and hear depends upon the editor. How they understand it is further influenced by the newscaster. Tom Brokaw, managing editor and sole anchor of the NBC Nightly News since 1983, makes the final decisions about what goes on the air. Authority of the Board of Trustees of St. Anselm College, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Journalism, honoris causa. In accordance with usual custom, you are entitled to all the rights and privileges which pertain to this degree here and elsewhere. 
In token thereof, we award you this diploma and invest you with the appropriate hood. Lifelong association with this great institution, with your classmates here, those who have come before and those who will come after to St. Anselm's. This indeed is a privileged place. <coughs> And what you carry from here is a rare treasure. You should not take it for granted. You leave here as well in an exciting and in a challenging time in our lives. I envy you the privilege of growing up on the cusp, so to speak, when in this country, one generation of leadership, its values and instincts formed by the Great Depression and World War II, is giving way, really, at many levels in our political body to another generation, its values and instincts shaped by the battle for civil rights at home, by Vietnam, by a changing world economy, and a technology explosion. So my first suggestion to all of you, class of 1988, is that you immerse yourself in this change. Now, at the outset, I admit my bias. The roots of my generation when I graduated from college in 1962. I represented a generation of students who came of age when John Kennedy was creating the new frontier in America, the generation which marched in the South in the battle for civil rights in America, a generation that went to Vietnam for what was at first described as a battle for the hearts and minds of freedom-loving allies, the same generation matters do not go as we may like them to, not just at the cosmic level and what happens between Moscow and Washington, but what happens in your own community and your own family. When historians come to judge this time in our lives, how will they record our contributions? All of you have been students of history for the past four years in one form or another. Think about those great eras that you have studied. What if you had lived through them? Would you have been proud of your own contribution? What will historians say about your era? Will they conclude that America in the 1980s was a society that had grown fat and lazy and indifferent and selfish? Or will they find irrefutable evidence that the 1980s, a time when Americans rose above their selfish material interests, when they faced up to the new reality place of this great land of ours, in the age of technology and a truly interdependent international economy. Andrew, consider Hegel, who said, we may affirm that absolutely nothing great in the world has been accomplished without passion. Class of 1988, St. Anselm's, go forth and be passionate. Good luck.
Michael William Jones. Yes, Joseph! Paul Edward Jorgensen, cum laude. Joseph Albert Labar. <laughs> Kelly Ann McDonough. <laughs> Brown Leo McDonough. <laughs> Kara Marie McGoldrick. <laughs> Philip Tyler McGreevy. <laughs> Patricia Jean McGuire. Pamela Claire McNamara. Michael Anthony McShane. Sherry Lynn Meadows. William Talmadge Michael Jr. David Michael Moriarty. John Francis Moriarty. Julia Marie Morin, cum laude. <laughs> Sheila Christine Morin, magna cum laude. <laughs> Thomas Joseph Murphy. <laughs> Brian Paul Murray. <laughs> John Stevens Murray. <laughs> Catherine Nazaro. Robert Terence Neela III. <laughs> Christy A. <laughs> Theodore W. Newman. <laughs> Kathleen Louise O'Connor. <laughs> Michael William O'Connor. <laughs> Julie Ann O'Donnell. Charles Patrick Hemble. Charles Montpelio Carini III. Dennis Morris Malad from Laude. Sloan. Jill Lawson Smithies. We once again acknowledge your greatness and give you thanks for the wonders of your love. For our hearts are filled with joy today as we celebrate the excellence of academic achievement. We celebrate the excellence of human and Christian virtue, the excellence of those men and women who graduate today as they manifest your image and likeness in our world in lives of joy, of hope, and of love. I ask you too, loving God, to bless their families and friends who share in the joy of this day. May they who have done so much to see this day grow with them in the bonds of love. And finally, loving God, we ask your blessing upon this community, upon the abbot and the monks of the abbey, upon the faculty of this college, upon the benefactors and trustees, and upon the entire student body. May you continue to make this college a beacon of light and hope for our church and our world. We ask this, as always, in the name of your Son, Jesus, and through the Holy Spirit, whose feast we prepare to celebrate tomorrow. Amen. <laughs>
X-rated. Say something stupid, <laughs> David. Like thank you on this gracious occasion. Spin twirl and, and give a little head fake. I need a stick. Okay, Janet, you wouldn't help. Oh. Wait a minute, you guys stay up because I want to take a bunch of shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Grandma, you and your husband you bring a little thing out. Yeah. Yeah. You want to take a picture of that one? <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Okay. guys. Okay. 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 <laughs> James, you take Dodge and I with your brother. Go greet him, Dave. There you go. It's on. Huh? Stand pipe? Yes, yeah, we are reading. Yeah. Yeah. Forget to boast a little. You learned it on Doc. Well, let's go. Yay! Yay! Appreciate it. It's a half. Yeah. 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 This is your half graduation. Yeah. That's your half. No, this is all the time. This is really fair. Next is the Don't tell them. Don't tell them. You already read them. Use it. Get an attaché. There's a card on the floor. Yeah, oh, that's, that, that's good paper. You can use that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you can use the grip. Sure. Yeah, but sure. It'll work. It'll work for it, honey. 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's gonna help. You tired, huh? Congratulations. Well, I'm not gonna run the race tonight. Keep up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Got you a little bit uh, ways to go. Don't throw that shit in the water. You know what? You just leave it in the car yeah. and, uh, and give it to me and I'll put it away. Yeah, and she'll take uh, care Dave, of it. David's a responsible individual. She'll take care of it. <laughs> I think it was about six o'clock. So. Yeah, it was because I watched UPS. That thing looks like it could crush them. Oh, there's a Good luck with the AVs. Yeah, Hi, Dad. Yeah, Hi, Dad. This yeah. is live, folks. <laughs> you heard that. Geek, I'm going to cut you out of the film. Hey, we'll, hey. we'll edit this out later. Yeah. Right yeah. here. Goodbye, Dave. It's not really fun. <laughs> How'd you get your diploma, Dave? Did you cheat? <laughs> <laughs> well, here and there. Here yeah. and there. Okay. There's a few problems. On your college graduation. The president's daughter. <laughs> It was uh, congratulations and warm so wishes yeah. for a happy and successful future. Thank love, you very much. love, etc. Oh, love. Aunt Jackie, <laughs> Uncle George, Jeffrey, and Michelle. Oh, she just said my name with my emphasis. Nice. You can <laughs> give Jeff a kiss. When we graduate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Give him a squibber. <laughs> Feels nice. Thank you, Aunt Jackie. Thanks, <laughs> How come I didn't get one? Get over here. You didn't get one. Get a kiss. How come? Am I too old? Yeah. Am I too old? Yeah. Of course not, Graham. Thank you. Hey, Jay. Jay, those are my Hey, those are my Hey, get over here. Don't forget this one. Don't forget this one. Thank you, Michelle. Hey, Michelle, here. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't yeah, prom picture is nice. Look at Michelle's turn green. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Dad. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's movie time. Four, three, two, one. Morehead graduation. Take two.